Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your CA8345 to capture transients. That said, let's get started. So let's take a closer look how we set up transients on the CA8345. So the first thing we need to do is go into the settings menu and into transient mode. So here in transient mode, we can configure the threshold triggers for both voltage and current transients. So the first option we have on here is the number of cycles before it triggers the event. So that's currently set to one. Then we can set the individual voltages or the voltage thresholds that we're looking for, which will trigger the transient capture. So we can first set how we want to monitor these voltages. So we can look at all of the voltages and use one threshold. We can look at the voltages and use separate thresholds, or we can use different thresholds for the line conductors and the neutral. So in this case, I will just select one threshold for all, and I can then configure the threshold by simply using the arrow buttons to change the voltage that we wish to set for the threshold. Once we've configured the voltage transient thresholds, we can then do the same with the current. And it is exactly the same process in there to set up the current thresholds as well. So once we've done that, we can then set up the monitoring event by going into the transient mode using the blue function buttons at the bottom here. So you can see on the list, if we've had previous transient captures, they'll be available to view in here. But to set up a new session, we simply go into the disk icon. In here, we can set up a transient logging event. So it asks us, what are we looking for? In this case, we're looking for transients. How many transients do we want to record during the session? So in this case, I've set that limit to five. When do we want to start the session? And when do we want to end the session? And what do we want to call the session? Once we've set these parameters, and the CA8345 is happy with those, we can simply start the session by pressing the play icon. Now you will see that we've got the egg timer icon at the top of the screen and the CA8345 is waiting for the session to start. Once the session starts, it will look for transients meeting the threshold limits that we've pre-programmed. And when it sees five of those, it will end the session. If no events are captured or it doesn't get to five, when it reaches the end time, it will end the session automatically. If you want to manually end the session, you can use this pause symbol here to manually end the session. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully now you've seen how easy it is to use the CA8345 to monitor your installation for electrical transients. If you've liked this video, please pop down and give us a like below. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if you want more information, please drop us a message in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on another video soon.